Hey everyone, what's going on? Dave Kettner here again with you. And in this video, I'm going to talk about SVG files. Now, this is a uh, question that's been coming up with uh, people that have been watching my tr video trainings, and they you know, don't understand why you know we have to do this extra thing with SVG files. You know, what is it? Uh, I don't understand. Why do we have to pay someone on Fiverr to do it? Uh, and one of the questions that came up was, you know, with Canva, if you have the Canva Pro, you know, you can download SVG. So I don't understand. So uh, in this video, I want to I want to make clear what is an SVG file and basically then how we can make it and how we can't use Canva and how we want to make it done and how we can test it so we know it's working correctly because the last thing you want to do is create something put it for sale on Etsy and then they the person contacts you and, and says hey this SVG is not working it uh, you say you're selling an SVG but it's not working so let me explain it so let me switch over to my computer and explain to you what an SVG is and what this is that we're talking about here all right, so I just did a little search here for you know what is an SVG file, and uh, I pulled up Adobe.com. I think this is a really good thing that explains it. Now, some of this is gibberish. You know, I'm gonna explain it to you the way it was explained to me. And basically, you know, you see that the SVG file format is for displaying two-dimensional graphics. Uh, basically, what it's doing it it's a vector file where it's separating separate separating out the colors of the image itself, the design. So when you have a machine at home that like a Cricut machine or silhouette, uh, basically you have this SVG file and you're able to print it out because it prints out each color separately. So each vector is its own separate print. Okay. And that's how these things work. So when you have an SVG file, that's what we're talking about here. If you want to just do a search for SVG, what is an SVG file? You can see what it is here and it gets into really the specifics of what it is, the history and all that good stuff. But I just want you to understand how to do it correctly. So you're not selling it wrong. All right. So what I would like you to do here is download the Cricut software. And if you just go to download Cricut, I'll actually put a link in the description below, but uh, if you just put download Cricut, it's design space by Cricut. And you see this, this link right here, apps, uh, Cricut, it says download Cricut software design space. So if I click on that, you'll see here, it takes to Cricut, their page here. And uh, you know, it says download Cricut design space. So you're gonna just click on that and it's gonna take you here to a download page, right? Just basically you have to agree to their terms, you know, uh, okay, I'm gonna, I can just cancel that. But here, I wanna agree to their terms, hit download. Now, I already did this, so I'm not gonna do it again, but you download it to your computer, and then open it and install it on your computer. It's free software, and uh, basically, it's gonna allow us to test these SVG files to see if they're working. Because when you open up an SVG file, your browser won't even open it up correctly, all right? It's because it's a vector file. You can, but this software allows us to open it up, and we'll see if something is working or not. All right, so when you do have it working, you would open it up. So I'm actually gonna open mine right now. And let me drop this down here. And I wanna show you what this looks like. It's gonna have you make a free account. I already did that on my side. Just so just make sure you follow the directions, put your, your name and email. And uh, you, know, you can say you don't wanna hear from them, that's fine. Or if you wanna see their offers, you know, whatever you would like. But the goal is, is to get to this screen right here. And now I have the Cricut Design Space software opened on my screen. All right, so we have this and then we're gonna do new project, right? And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna test out the SVG files. So it comes up and we don't need to know how to use this. All we wanna do is see if our SVG opens up in this Cricut Design Space software. If it does, then we know we have a correct SVG file. If it does not, and you'll see what I mean here in a minute, then you know it is not. All right, so you would open this up and then you would put in here new we have new we're gonna do an upload now we don't have a design yet so let me go back to the browser here all right so let me show you you know two different ways that we can get the svg file so as you've seen in my prior trainings that we've been talking about where i've been teaching you how to do the digital designs for sale on etsy right this is one of the ones i did right so this is the design here i did for one cross plus three nails equals four given and this is the design that i'm selling for Easter mainly, right? So this is uh, where I was doing this test to see how this does. And one of the things that we wanna sell, we saw in the research video that I did that there was a demand for the SVG file, all right, more than the PNG. So we wanna sell both of them. But to do the SVG, a lot of people are like, well, hey, I got canva.com, you know, I have the pro version. And if I go here to hit share, right? And we hit download, 
and we go in here to the types, you'll see that we have SVG as an option, right? So doesn't that work? Why do I have to pay someone on Fiverr to do that? So let me test it out here. All right, so I clicked on SVG and we want to do transparent background and we're gonna put download. So we hit download and it's gonna to download to my computer. All right, so we got that downloading right now. It's gonna download it called New Designs. Then I went to Fiverr. Now Fiverr I went and I already did this a couple days ago and I wanted to convert my PNG. So with, you saw one of my videos I did if you watch my trainings, instead of doing a download like I just did, I did a download of PNG. All right, the PNG file here with a transparent background, and I downloaded that. So I took that file and I went to Fiverr, and I basically said I want to do a PNG to an SVG file. Or as you see there, it came up convert. I think I saw it there a second, then it just disappeared. But let me just do that. I'll do a search for that, and it will come up with people that will convert these for us. See vector tracing, right? And we come down here and, you know, all these people will convert, you know, I'll, I will do a vector tracing to SVG, right? I'll convert a, you know, to a, you know, uh, an SVG basically is what we want. So if we, let me just do that again. I want to do convert. Let's do convert. Make sure we get correct what we're looking for. Cor convert PNG to SVG. And I'm going to put file in there. Let's see if that changes the search at all. Okay, it's a little bit better. But basically what we're doing here is we're gonna convert it over and you'll see a lot of times we can get it for five bucks. You know, we can do it here. This one person's gonna do it in 10 minutes, they said. So people that know what they're doing, they can do it pretty quickly. And you know, it, it, again, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have Adobe Illustrator, which is the software I believe that you need to do. And it's gonna take more time. I don't have those skills. I'd rather just pay someone to do it. But you cannot do it with just Canva. And I'll show you here in a second. So what I did was I paid someone to do this and they sent me the file, all right? And I have it now actually on my computer. So I'm gonna test it out. So I'm gonna go here to the one I just downloaded a few minutes ago with Canva, right? I'm gonna do upload and I'm gonna upload that design, the new designs one. So I'm gonna browse, I'm gonna find it. And I put it in my desktop and new designs right here. This is the one I just downloaded. So I'm going to open that into the thing and it says well because big file all right right here it says oh here's the image mm, what was what what's there is that what i put in there you know let's put upload let's make sure it brings it into the software and notice it's just a big black box right there's nothing here right so what's doesn't make sense right why is that not coming up correctly it's because it's not correctly vectored out the way it's supposed to be that's why I pay someone to do it. So let me show you if I upload the image that I paid for through the Fiverr account, right? So I come here, uh, let's see, this is the one that I actually got two days ago, or yesterday, sorry. And this is the one I had done for me, watch the difference. Notice it comes in correctly. So then if I upload this one, now you're gonna see the difference. One's totally black, one's done correctly. This one I paid for, this one I tried to do with Canva, it was supposed to be an SVG. It does not work. Now there are some times where you can actually do things within Canva, and I think some of their templates will actually then divide out the SVG correctly. But if you're bringing in different things, like I brought in Word Swag, I brought in a uh, some of these free clip arts in there, you have to manually separate it out. I don't have time to do that. If you're a designer and you know how to do it, great. But I wanted to show you in this video that you can't just use Canva to download it into an SVG and expect it to work. Because if your customers are getting this, they're not gonna be happy. If they're getting this, well then that's what they want. They wanna be able to use it in their Cricut machine, in their Silhouette machine, whatever. But this is a great way to go and test it. So what I recommend to you is download the Cricut Design Space software and test your SVGs out. Make sure that they're working correctly because again, I don't want you selling something to your customer that is junk basically because they're gonna then complain and then it's gonna hinder your Etsy store because you're gonna you know, ask for your money back. You're gonna have you know people wanting, you know basically want their money back. They're gonna you know contact Etsy. There's gonna be problems. Don't go that route. Always sell the correct SVGs, all right? So with that said, I appreciate you guys here in my training. I hope you liked that video. I hope you understand why, in my opinion, it's worth to pay someone a little extra with SVG. Oh, by the way, I had one more thing I wanted to share too. Uh, when you find someone that is doing SVGs for you, you know, you have a few, you're gonna do one, two, three, 
uh, once you get into, you realize that this is gonna be a business that you're gonna wanna do a lot more images, you could ask the person on Fiverr, say, hey, look, you know, what would be your bulk discount if I were to do 10 at a time, 20 at a time, 50 at a time, all right, just to get their prices for those three things. And for example, I know that the guy that I work with, he will do, I think, 20 for $50. It so ends up being, what, $2.50 each. Or if I did 50, he would do them for $100, it ends up being $2 a piece. So if you start doing them in bulk, you can do them a lot cheaper than doing them $5 each. So I wanna make sure I share that with you as well. Anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give me the thumbs up. Give me a like. I definitely appreciate if, appreciate that. If you're not part of uh, my my channel yet, please subscribe. Hit that bell button to be notified as I put out these new videos. Hopefully, it's helping you out, growing your business. And if you haven't seen my training series, go back and watch the Etsy training series I, that I'm in the middle of right now of teaching you how to sell digital images on Etsy. All right, so I hope that helps you out, that you're going to take this and become profitable with it. And, uh, and I look forward to sharing you with you the results that I will have here in a few days with the actual designs that I've been selling. And they already started selling within a day. I already have a few sales. So uh, I definitely look forward to doing that video here in a few days and having that information for you. And if you're not part of my Etsy program, if you don't know anything about Etsy, how to sell, there's a link down below. Uh, it teaches you all about my, it'll tell you all about my course, Etsy Profits Generator. And if you're interested in that, look into it. I do, uh, I have many students that have, have been very profitable selling on Etsy using my program. And I'll be updating that here moving forward with all this new information, uh, starting with, with these digital images to get an Etsy store rolling for you. So with that, hope you enjoy this video again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody.